Okay, so you're feeling pumped. You've got all this information, you've got all this knowledge. You know a lot about Facebook Live, where you can be seen, where you can be visible, how tips on how you can make your channel explode, how you can actually make a channel, almost a YouTube replacement with Facebook Live. But you're wondering, where do I start? What do I do? Well, this is the lecture that will completely save your life. This is going to give you all the information that you need to start streaming awesome stuff. I'm going to give you 15 different ideas. And you can mix and match them. Or you can be consistent and have the same theme. Or you can use two or three. Either way, these are fantastic ideas for you to start on Facebook Live right now and start building an audience even when you've got nothing. So, tip number one. Your own knowledge. This is probably number one because of all the years that you've been accumulating knowledge and solving problems, now is the time to use it. Now, everybody has got a certain amount of knowledge. How to get into college or university, how to pass exams, great study techniques, how to survive a difficult split or a divorce, how to play music, how to play a piano, guitar, how to code how to buy a house, how to run a gaming channel, how to get views on YouTube, how to explode your followers on Instagram or Twitter. You've all got knowledge that you can repackage, you, you can create a process for and deliver in presentations on a daily basis or weekly basis. But your own knowledge, the things that you know really well and have tried and tested are the things that you can best explain and make great videos about live. And people can ask you questions and you can answer them with confidence because you've done it before. Number two, package other people's knowledge. Now, you're on a Udemy course right now. You're learning about Facebook Live. You know, if you go on Udemy, you can find a course about anything. You can learn about how to love your life more, how to meditate better, how to get Facebook likes really cheap, how to run Facebook ads really cheap, you know, how to get thousands of followers on Instagram, which is another one of my courses. Get that information, apply it, and then present on it. You can only really present on it if you've got some experience of doing it. So once you've used the knowledge and made it work for you, you can then present it your own way way. And that is another way of really packaging great knowledge to help other people. Number three, your business expertise. Now, some of you will have jobs. Some of you will run businesses. You will know how to do things better than other people can. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a business. You wouldn't be making money if you didn't know how to do something better than someone else. Maybe you're the best person at applying makeup. Maybe you're the best person at doing hair. Maybe you're the best person at planning weddings. Maybe you're the best person at scheduling tweets. Maybe you're a very, very good dentist. Or maybe you're a very good estate agent. Or maybe you're a lawyer. Now, you can use your expertise to help other people. Because you've applied it in a business sense, you make money from it and you've got credibility, this is an excellent way of being able to communicate that with your audience. Now, the traditional way of communicating your expertise is through blogs, you know, but how long does it take to write a blog? It can take an hour, you know, to write top 10 tips. But now you can do it in two, three minutes. You know, you can give expertise, daily tips on how you can do something better in your life. You know, people won't be paying you. They'll be paying you by joining your stream. And that is how you're going to grow and, and be able to make it bigger and be able to sell things over time. But using your business expertise is a great way of building your credibility, getting business, getting customers. And also at the same time sharing some brilliant information that will help other people. Number four, top 10 tips or hacks. Now, I do a top 10 video all the time on YouTube. T top 10 ways on how to improve your channel subscribers. Top 10 ways of having a successful YouTube channel. Top 10 ways of improving your Instagram following. Top 10 ways of improving your Twitter followers. Top 10 ways of having an enriched life. Top 10 ways to use Facebook Live. There's so many top 10s. You can probably turn any 
solutions to a problem into top tens and it's fantastic. The great thing about top tens is that you can make your presentations short. If you have a hundred tips and you go all of it in once, you'll lose people's attention. People have a short amount of attention. So top 10 is a great way, or top five even, a great ways of being able to get the point clearly and succinctly, not boring people and making people engaged with you. Number five, inspirational or motivational videos. You know, spend two minutes every day just picking people up, giving them advice, giving them motivation. You know, make them feel happy to be awake. Make them motivated to go to work. Make them motivated to do a great job that day. Make them motivated to be loving with their family. You know, inspire people. People are thirsty for inspiration. You know, people walk through their daily lives. You know, life isn't great. Life isn't fair. And they just need a pick-me-up. And you can be that person that motivates them, that gives them a reason to get up, to give them a reason to be happy, give them a reason to be energised. You could be that person. And there's a huge niche on Instagram and, and Facebook where people post inspirational quotes and things like that. So it's massive. It's a really, really excellent niche area to be involved in. Number six, pranks. This is a viral sensation. Okay. Now, just because you do a prank doesn't mean it's going to go viral, but the live reaction is the thing that can make your video go viral. Okay, so you're planning something. Let's say, you know, you're planning on... <laughs> it's really hard. Some of these pranks are really horrible, but let's say you're, like, planning on waking your partner up and, uh, and they're in a really deep sleep and you want to light firecrackers or you want to, like, play machine gun sounds and you see how they react. I mean, that is the kind of thing that makes videos go viral. And you can take your audience on the journey with you. You've got the phone, you've got, you're explaining it to them, and they're experiencing it with you live. Pranks go viral. And I'm telling you right now, pranks are an excellent way to go massive with Facebook Live. Number seven, games and quizzes. Now, I personally have become big on Periscope because I do a game called Guess My Drawing. Now, on Periscope, different from Facebook, but I'm sure Facebook will start adding a ton of functionality soon. But on Periscope, you can actually draw on the screen. What I do is I play a game called Guess My Drawing. I draw something and the first person to get it gets a point and the person with the most points at the end wins a medal. Not a physical medal, but I draw the medal on screen and I draw a trophy and all that. And it's super fun. I've got a million likes on that game alone. And it's a really fun way of engaging the audience and getting them all involved, getting them all competitive. Now, you can just do, right, we're going to do 10 questions today, general knowledge, first person to get it gets it right. And then you look in the comments box and see who gets it first. And then you give a point to that person. Or you can put, you know, um, guess the intro of a song. Or, um, or you can do maths, you know, what's 6 times 12? And things like that. And that is such a popular way of engaging your audience on live. Number eight, music. Now, if you're a band, a really, really good way of getting discovered or just engaging people with your music is to play for them. And that's not playing other people's music, copyrighted material, because it's very likely that you may get sanctioned for that. But it's really, really, it's a really, really good idea to play live music for people. You know, just um, show them what you're capable of um, or show them how to play a piano. Show them how to play the guitar, the electric guitar. Music is a really amazing way of engaging people and connecting people because we all love music. And this is a really good way of using live for that reason. Number nine, funny videos. Now this can be anything. This could be like my cat is over there and she is amazingly cute and she does these cute things and you can film that. You can film it live. That's the cuteness and see what people say. People all have pets and people like to comment on other people's pets and people will like you because you like pets. But there are other funny videos like the pranks, like telling jokes, um, that kind of thing. But being humorous, um, doing a stand-up routine, whatever, but trying to make people laugh or doing something or showing them something that will make them laugh, like pranks, is a really, really good way of getting followers on Facebook Live. Number 10, news. Now, this was something I personally did with my Facebook uh, page, 
which was I brought them live news of what was happening in our local town. It's a communi- local community page and it had 14,000 views. 14,000 views. That's massive. I mean, the channel's only got 4,000 people. And now it got, and then it, no, it had three and a half thousand people. But as a result of showing, this video grew by 500 in a week. And I've been running this for two years. And in one week, I got 500 new people who watched it because of news. News is excellent. News is good and bad. You know, terrorist attacks, a plane crashing, all these kinds of things. If you film it, you're bringing information to people that journalists bring to people. You are informing them of things happening now so that they don't listen to it later. You can become a viral sensation if you bring them something where you're at at the time and the journalist isn't. Can you imagine the power you have with Facebook Live to bring that kind of information? It's amazing. News is an excellent, excellent way. Now, you can't bring news all... Unless you're a journalist, you can't bring news all the time. But it's something to add into your page or add into your personal profile when you can because it can be big. Number 11, traveling. When you go traveling, when you go to Mauritius or you go to Spain or you go to Russia, show people what you see. Show them monuments, show them ruins, show them popular monuments, show them things that make them feel enriched culturally. That is a really good way of getting people to engage. Number 12, interviews. Now, if you run a page, let's say you run a page about a celebrity, let's say Zac Efron, and you meet Zac Efron, you manage to see him, or you manage to get some time with him, show the interview and uh, on live, and get people to ask questions. That will get people sharing like mad, can you imagine? Or if you manage to get a business guru, let's say you're an entrepreneur, you run a business page, and you manage to get Richard Branson, or Gary Vaynerchuk, or somebody right in front of you, and you can ask some questions, and your followers who are the same as you can ask questions, that can explode massively interviews because that is a way you and your audience can ask questions and you can get a somebody's name in front of that interviewee and that follower will be so happy and they'll share and that is exactly how you can use it so superbly. Number 13, live events. You're at a concert, you're at a debate, you're at a red carpet event. You know, so many things happen live that People just can't see, and you can bring it to them. You can be that person that brings them live events. I recently went to an 80s festival, and I put people, I allowed people to see Chesney Hawks playing, The Human League, uh, Belinda Carlisle, Jimmy Somerville, Katrina and the Waves, and I had people joining by the bucket load and liking the stream. It's a really good way of bringing something to people that they wish they could be at, but you'll bring them into the room with you or the place or the stadium, wherever you're at. It's a superb way to get people to see the action that you can see and experience it with you. Number 14, behind the scenes. So if you're a business, a lot of businesses are faceless organisations. You know their company name, you know their slogan, but you don't know their culture. Right, well this is a way of you showing everybody what your company is about. If you've got a wacky culture that people would be, you know, warm to, show it. You know, if you've got employees that really you think would connect with people, interview them, show them. Show the inner workings of a company. It gets people to see you as more of a 3D organisation, like an Apple-type organisation that they want to buy from rather than just a name. A name doesn't mean anything these days. Everybody's making a noise. Make a bigger one with a behind the scenes video. Number 15, the last one, but not the least, question and answer sessions. So, you have got your audience, they like you, they know you, they watch your streams, but they wanna know you more. They wanna know you more intimately, not too intimately, but intimately. They wanna ask you questions about your life, about where you've come from, what you've done, and they want to get to know you. And The best thing you can do is be engaging when you ask their questions. Don't just give one word answers. Give an explanation. Give a story. Give them something which makes them think, oh my God, I know him so much better. And and I've been there. I completely get him. We've got so much in common. And then people will know you more. And people will know you more from answers you give to other people. So try and make your answers truthful and be honest and authentic. 
and people will like you and they will want more. So those are 15 amazing stream ideas and you can use as many of them as you want. You've got the power now. You can even make your own live stream about these stream ideas. This is an incredibly exciting time. We're in the early stages. Facebook are just starting this thing. Get in early, use some of these ideas and get live, get seen. I'll see you in the next lecture.